Hello everyone. In this particular playlist, we'll try to understand how can we interpret a machine learning output. We all know machine learning algorithms are used for predictions, like you know sales forecasting, weather forecasting, stock price forecasting. You know whether it's a good customer, bad customer, customer churning. There are so many examples, right? So other than that, we can also interpret the machine learning algorithms output. What do you mean by interpretation okay so before we try to understand interpretation so we have two different types of interpretation one is local interpretation the second one is global interpretation so don't worry we'll take an example for each and every scenario like as i said you know we have two different types of global and local we'll try to understand what i mean by interpreting the machine learning algorithms output first we'll try to understand the global interpretation for example i am working for a big retail company so either my sales director or you know the sales head come to me and ask hey you know teja can you tell me what are the columns or variable that are affecting my sales very important thing to consider he is not asking me to predict the sales he is asking me what are the variables or columns that are affecting my sales point noted here it is not the prediction he is asking what are the columns or variable that are affecting my sales right so we already discussed this concepts so uh, when you talk about the decision trees there is a concept called future importance so what future importance says so it will tell you what are the futures or column that are affecting directly your label right so label means what are the outcome or the variable that you want to predict right so we call it future importance so when you talk about the linear based algorithms like linear regression logistic regression maybe using p value or the coefficient right we can give the weightage to the variables or columns that are affecting my label right so in this case maybe uh, the question asked by my sales head or sales director so what i can do is maybe i can run some uh, linear algorithms or you know tree based algorithms right so that will give you some future importance so the importance what are the variables or column that are important that are affecting my sales right so what i'll do is i'll make sure so uh, what are the videos which i made the future importance using tree based algorithms or linear or logistic regression i'll i'll keep those uh, you know uh, the video links in the description so please don't forget to watch those videos hope you understand now what is global interpretation right now we'll try to understand what is local interpretation let's take an example uh, i applied for a loan to some bank and somehow my loan got rejected so i called the customer service center and asked why my loan rejected he cannot simply tell you know my machine learning algorithm you know somehow said that you are a bad customer so we are not providing to the loan that's not the right answer obviously right so <clears throat> i can question back on what basis your algorithm says that i am bad customer right so when you talk about uh, the countries in europe right it's a law right and it's a right that an end customer asks why your algorithm works like this and the bank has to provide him the information that why you know that this particular machine algorithm says that he is a bad customer right so obviously when you talk about uh, bank so they'll collect lot of information like you know your age your working uh, right working history or your credit history uh, the place you are staying and there are many factors right now we should be able to answer the customer boss these are the factors or these are the variables that makes you a bad customer right and this is called local interpretation <clears throat> maybe when you ask me the difference between the local and global interpretation maybe in simple right so when you talk about the outcome the overall outcome so what are the columns that are affecting my overall outcomes right a call global interpretation when you talk about the local interpretation right what are the overall columns that are affecting a single you know uh, a value in our case like uh, uh, why my loan got rejected right so this is more of you know the global and local interpretation so hope you understood uh, the power of interpretation right so 
we all know so uh, most of the people are you know they are actually ignoring the interpretation they they you know simply apply some machine learning algorithms no way i got a good accuracy no so interpretation is definitely a second part of machine learning when you say the first part of machine learning obviously it is meant for predictions and the second part is you should be able to interpret your machine learning algorithms outcome right so hope by now you understood why you know uh, the interpretation are important for machine learning algorithms and the different types of interpretation and its relevant examples hello everyone in this video we'll try to understand how can we interpret a machine learning algorithm using a package called line so here we are focusing on the local interpretation right so which we already discussed in our previous video so first we need to install the package obviously so and of course i installed it so we need to type it install line right and this is the particular data set which i'm using so it's a diabetic data set so you know i have the columns like pregnancies you know uh, glucose blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi etc etc and here my outcome is at the 0 or 1 right so when i say 1 is a diabetic when i say 0 he is not diabetic right one diabetic and <laughs> zero not so here i am doing the basic you know data engineering so when you talk about bmi uh, let me show you bmi data dot bmi is that the column name now it's a capital bmi now what happened yeah yeah if you see here you know it's it's uh, value numerical column right so what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to bin it right so uh, something like this if any if my value of bmi is less than 18.5 then i'm saying and right if it is between 18.5 and 24.9 i'm saying normal a data basic data basic data engineering i'm doing here same thing for insulin and applying these two functions for my BMI and insulin where I'm creating a new column here right and obviously I'm deleting the old columns and so I'm converting this new BMI and insulin to categorical maybe if I if you see it here what happened okay I need to run this my bad y yes did you see so we have obesity one overweight normal etc etc right and then i'm so i'm doing one hot encoding hope you know what is one hot encoding all those things right and then you know i'm just using a decision tree here right i'm i'm training my model right so now coming to the main part <clears throat> all these things we are already aware how to do it right so the important thing is how can we interpret the local interpretation using decision trees right and dt is my trained model in case if you're using linear regression or logistic regression whatever you'll have some variable where you know you're storing your trained model right now we need to import the package called line and inside the line so this is not required obviously so we need to import the line tabular if you see here <coughs> in the documentation so we have line tabular which are meant for structured data like i mean the tabular data and when you talk about the text it's for raw data like you know when you're dealing with some um, kind of nlp the bag of words or whatever right and we have image you can interpret uh, your results even if it is uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, text or image so we can do three types of interpretation one is the structured data image and the text data that's what so we are more worrying about the tabular data which is structured data here so that's why we are importing this now <clears throat> i'm creating an object called explainer so i'm saying lime dot lime tabular right and in that we have lime tabular explainer right so here we need to pass our x variable x is nothing but our this other than our outcome predicted variable and i'm saying giving the name of the columns was these are my x values obviously we have to pass in two dimensional array right so like this and i also need to tell boss this is the name of the columns and verbose two and mode is classification it, it supports classification and regression 
now explainer is my object which is holding my tabular data right which is two dimensional tabular data and it has you know the name of the columns and it we are saying what type of you know the algorithm we are doing with the classification regression now if you see here now we are trying to explain the instance so when you talk about instance uh, for example you know i got a request or something like you know i got the data because this is the data can you tell me whether he has sugar or not or whether he has diabetic or not so what are the data which we are getting is an instance right so here if you see x test x test test is a test data <coughs> did you see these are my instance so i am passing this and obviously my machine learning model will tell whether he has a diabetic or not other than that it will also tell you what are the columns that make this particular person as a diabetic or non diabetic right so i am passing one variable here and obviously dt is our you know decision tree which is time model so i am getting the probability right <coughs> now here axp is my object where you know it is storing my explaining explanation right explainer is our uh, object which we just created for the tabular data right and now if you run this obviously it's running here we go did you see it says zero zero means what maybe a non diabetic i, I always <laughs> yeah zero is a non diabetic yeah so it says this particular person is a non diabetic so it tell you that 94% this person is a non diabetic okay you said 94% as we just discussed and what basis on the basis of age and the basis of glucose on basis of diabetics right all these things are supporting that this particular person is a non diabetic clear <clears throat> we have very other important you know uh, parameter called number of futures right so now i am passing the same instance here same record here now let me run this <coughs> did you see it shows only 5 so what it says is i am saying get top 5 variables that is supporting my outcome so these are the top 5 variables like age glucose diabetics skin thickness and blood pressure because of this particular variables this particular person is a non diabetic right now similarly maybe i'll take one more record so now we tried with this particular instance now if i say one maybe we'll try with this particular person and see what our model says <coughs> oops this particular person is a diabetic why is a diabetic because of the glucose level because of the age because of the skin thickness so if you see these are the three parameters which are supporting <coughs> our machine learning algorithm that this particular person is a diabetic and this is the two particular column it is saying he is not a diabetic but obviously the probability of one is high which is it is 61% that our model says he is a diabetic now why is diabetic because of the glucose you know the age and skin thickness clear <coughs> now we know this particular exp holds exp is our object holds our results so we'll see what are the options it has right <coughs> the one of the option we see is show in notebook show table equal to true the other one is show as a list as an object so yeah this says that glucose skin thickness right <coughs> age all those things right that says uh, so here you, we are getting in the graphical representation where you, the same results here you getting as a list of list right and similarly you know we have few other option like you know as plot figure right this says clear but i personally feel this particular you know is very easy to understand you have two different labels if you see you have zero and we have one right so these are the column that are supporting zero and these are the column that are supporting one zero means non diabetic one means diabetic similarly if you see here right uh, maybe i'll say 
num okay num shit the best option is copy and paste <coughs> oops what happened no we should not put this here we should put this here <coughs> it happens come on so these are the five columns that are supporting my predictions saying that you know he is non-diabetic right maybe if i say seven i'll get seven columns here all right and of course all the seven columns are saying that he is is non-diabetic and if you see right there are 94 percent of the cases where he is not in non-diabetic and because of these columns we can strongly say that this person is non-diabetic so hope you enjoyed you know uh, this particular video and you understood how we can interpret a machine learning algorithms using line so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you